Hey guys, before I get into the video, I want to talk to you about help help food banks respond to COVID-19. I'm doing a fundraiser for Feeding America, where every day right now, there are so many hungry people out there who are paying their bills, paying their rents, but always low on budget when having to buy food for themselves, including their young families and children who are needing that food the most. Well, although there's plenty of, although there is plenty of food in the entire planet, there's not enough funds to be able to uh, to to keep pledging that free food to everyone right now. Find your heart to help us reach our goal, and, and help reach my goal and beyond that, so we can help feed many people. You show that you care, and and even if you're just sending like five, ten, or even twenty five dollars, you're showing that you care of feeding every single young person out there who oh, need it most. All right, thank you, and hope you liked the video. I'll send the link in the description down below. Yo, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to the JMB's video channel. I'm back with a new video reaction video. Whatever. So, it's this thing called Animated Flicks. Animated Horror Flicks channel. It kind of made a new video. I'm kind of interested, so... What better way for all of us to stay at home and like get distracted and all is to hear some scary stories. And I haven't like done any horror, horror animated reactions in such a while. So this would be pretty cool. Kind of pass the time a bit. And I don't know. Let's see what this, how this goes. All right. A little terrified though. Animated Horror Flix presents. The night shift. I don't usually hold back when it comes to talking about my job, which was working security at the sub-level of a local hospital. You'd be surprised to know how common break-ins were at that place, which usually ended up being a couple of junkies trying to get high on some of the weird chemicals that were being kept in the labs. It started out as a regular graveyard shift at work, but I'll lead in with a curious backstory regarding the doors that led to the morgue. In order to keep the place more sanitized, they had recently installed sliding doors that would automatically open if someone passed in front of them, nice animation. thus removing the need to touch any handles or doorknobs, and prevent anyone from leaving the doors open by accident. Hygiene played a major role at that morgue and it had been on the agenda for the past few months. There wasn't anything really unique about the sliding doors, except for the fact that they would sometimes open and close by themselves. That by itself didn't seem like such a big deal, since this could have been caused by something small such as a moth flying in front of the sensor. Until one night, I realized that it would always happen at the same time. Every night, at exactly 3 a.m., the doors would open for a few seconds and then close. I was convinced that the doors had been programmed with some kind of time-based trigger, but when I contacted the company that installed the doors, they told me that it wasn't possible since the doors were designed only to open when the sensors were triggered or forced open manually. So it continued without any explanation for a long time after that and became sort of a ritual for me and my co-workers to watch the doors open and close on the monitors every night. Usually there would be at least two guards on duty, but that night I ended up working the graveyard shift by myself because the other security guard suddenly became ill and there wasn't enough time to find a temp who could fill in at such short notice. Just to be clear, I had been working as a security guard for a long time, so I was no stranger to danger, and I wasn't worried about working alone at night. Besides, the work was pretty straightforward. All I had to do is make sure all the doors were locked and secured, and keep a close eye on the monitors. There were only two cameras, one overlooking the control room, and another one at the other end of the corridor overlooking the entrance to the morgue. As the clock approached 3 a.m., I did what all the guards on duty would do, sit back and enjoy the show. Although the novelty of seeing this phenomenon had long worn off, it was still something I would anticipate and would often give me the chills, seeing how it was the entrance to the morgue and that you could sense a sudden rush of cold air 
every time the doors would open, even from the other end of the corridor. I watched patiently as the doors opened, followed by the howling rush of cold air that could be heard from under the door. What was that? It was when I glanced away from the door and looked to the monitors that I noticed something strange. The doors remained open. At first I thought it might be a glitch with the monitor, and I was simply looking at a frozen frame, but then I saw the lights flicker. I waited for a few minutes, but it soon became clear that I would have to head on down to the end of the corridor, since it was strictly prohibited for the doors to the morgue to remain open. As I stepped out into the corridor, I acknowledged a significant drop in temperature, which I knew was going to get considerably worse as I approached the morgue. I gradually made my way down the corridor and turned the corner that ultimately led me to the sliding doors. I would not walk in there. I had hoped that the doors might have closed by the time activity. I got there, but just as I had seen on the monitor, the doors were in fact still open and the camera was functioning normally. I tried waving my hands in front of the sensor, but to no avail, the doors would not budge. I reluctantly contemplated my next option, which was to test the sensors from the other side, requiring me to enter the morgue, but I decided to take a look around first to see if I could observe anything out of the ordinary. Only when I turned my back to observe the corridor did the doors finally close, which was quickly accompanied by a cold chill in the air. I could feel an overwhelming sense of someone standing right behind me as the hairs on the back of my neck began to spike. but it turned out to be more of the same eerie silence as before. Since the doors had already closed without having please, to actually no enter jump the morgue, scare, please. I considered myself fortunate and hurried back to the control room to make sure nothing else was out of place. I closed the door and locked it from the inside, and for a moment I was expecting it to be business as usual as I sat back down in front of the monitors. But after taking a quick sip of my coffee, I realized the coffee was stone cold. Not just lukewarm, as you would expect, but genuinely chilled. I hadn't been away from the desk for that long, so it didn't make much sense at all. But then I remembered that I had felt that same chill before at the other end of that corridor. Out of curiosity, I decided to rewind the security footage back to when I approached the doors to see if I could spot anything out of the ordinary, which is when I witnessed something that I simply couldn't explain. There was a girl standing in front of the doors behind me. Oh my gosh. I couldn't gosh. really make out her face due to her long black hair. That was a stark contrast to the white gown she was wearing. She just stood there oh, staring right woman. at me and then walked towards the exit. To this day, I can't explain it. Because I had just been there and I hadn't seen anyone. It was when I checked the other camera overlooking the entrance to the control room that really sent a chill down my spine and still gives me nightmares to this day. When the lights came back on, it was as if nothing happened. The door to the control room was open despite being locked from the inside just moments before. Due to the mysterious power surge, most of the data on the drives had been completely corrupted. But some of the security footage did survive, and I've been holding on to it ever since. I guess now would be the time to ask yourself, do you believe in ghosts? Yes. Hey, uh, folks, if you want to see the from the camera over... No! I don't want to see the footage in the camera. Oh my gosh. I'm not lying, guys. I just got freaking chill the whole time. Like, no feds. As, as someone who's Christian, I've seen so many things. I've seen ghosts. I have seen demons. I have seen, a, and I have seen and felt an angel. 
at my grandfather's church before. So yes, I am a believer. And these kind of things creep the heck out of me. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this a like, share, and subscribe. But oh my gosh, my throat. And I hope I didn't like disturb my neighbors because I screamed so loud. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Jay of Beats out.